Is 5-HTP the most dangerous supplement on the market? Well, in this video, what I'm gonna do is look into 5-hydroxytryptophan, which is a very popular supplement for party goers the day after they use MDMA and other illegal drugs. So what I'm gonna do in this video is basically break down why I think 5-hydroxytryptophan or 5-HTP is a very dangerous supplement to be utilizing if you're trying to boost your serotonin levels. So first of all, let's find out what is 5-HTP? Well, to put it simply, 5-HTP is a precursor to serotonin. And what we need to do here is understand the pathway in which how serotonin is actually created in the body. It all starts with the essential amino acid L-tryptophan. Now, L-tryptophan gets converted down into 5-HTP and then eventually into serotonin and then finally into melatonin. Now, we can see here there are various substrates and vitamins that actually work to accelerate the conversion. So they actually act as coenzymes to facilitate the conversion of tryptophan into 5-HTP and then 5-HTP into serotonin and down into melatonin. So we can see magnesium, calcium, vitamin B6, folic acid, iron. Well, these are the requirements to actually convert this amino acid into serotonin. So 5-HTP is commonly marketed as a supplement to increase mood and improve feelings of well-being, um, which I'd like to challenge that hypothesis, whether or not we actually need to be increasing serotonin uh, in depression. And so what I want to do in this video is actually outline and basically explore some of the precautions and safety measures that people should consider if they're using 5-HTP. Now, this is particularly relevant for those who have used 5-HTP to accelerate the come down or following drug abuse um, because 5-HTP can replenish serotonin reserves. Now, here's why 5-HTP supplementation could potentially result in a deadly combination. And that is how 5-HTP can significantly interact with any serotonergic drug on the market, whether that be MDMA or well, obviously MDMA is not on the market. I mean, it's obviously it's just utilized for PTSD and um, it's undergoing clinical studies at the moment for treating various uh, mental health issues. However, it's not obviously an approved medication for depression. Whereas SSRIs are and very well a very well known FDA approved medication to combat uh, depressive symptoms and depression itself. So what I really wanna outline here is the danger associated with combining 5-HTP supplementation with any serotonergic drug, whether that be the SSRI, even some herbs, for example, like black seed oil, um, ashwagandha, St. John's wort, this could potentially result in something known as serotonin syndrome. Now, serotonin syndrome is extremely dangerous, and we can see some of the symptoms of serotonin uh, syndrome include agitation, um, excess sweating or diaphoresis, tachycardia or accelerated heartbeat, autonomic in, uh, instability and hyper, uh, hypertension or high blood pressure, diarrhea and hyperactive bowel sounds, so the gut's making a lot of sounds, um, tremor, and also um, midriasis, which is a dilation of the pupils as well. Now, if extremely severe, serotonin syndrome can in fact lead to death um, due to overheating and the body actually gets too hot, develops a severe, uh, severe fever. Um, and there are numerous actual case studies of people overdosing on 5-HTP or combining 5-HTP with some of these drugs, not knowing about the potential dangers associated with combining that and that can result in excess serotonin and ultimately serotonin syndrome. So this is something that we really need to pay attention to and we really need to spread this message out there. And that's one of the reasons why I create these videos is to highlight the precautions and, and keep you guys safe, you know, preventing things like this from happening is, you know, one of my missions. Now, switching gears a little bit, we can see here this Reddit thread actually really caught my eye because I personally also experimented with 5-HTP uh, a number of months ago to basically evaluate what I would feel when I use something that increases serotonin. And we can see this Reddit thread, this was not my thread, but I came across it. The title was, 5-HTP put me in the worst depression of my life. Now, this guy said that since taking this drug and the two great days I had afterwards, I've never felt so low. I never understood why depression was such a big deal before, but now I do. The world feels so dark. It's terrifying. I've never been this down. What happened? Now, this is pretty much mirroring my 
my experience with 5-HTP and tryptophan supplementation, where when I deliberately try to increase serotonin, again, this is N equals one, um, but I do want to share my experience. When I deliberately tried to increase serotonin, I felt much worse and I felt like I was experiencing all these negative and dark thoughts, which goes to sort of show that serotonin may not be a neurotransmitter that we all need to increase. And I'd like to challenge that hypothesis, the serotonin being low in depression hypothesis, because I do truly think there are other neurotransmitters that play a bigger role. In fact, I think low dopamine is more so the issue for a number of people out there that suffer from low motivation, low confidence, low drive. So that's something I really want to um, put into perspective. Bear in mind that 5-HTP does in fact lower dopamine. And we can see here that administration of 5-HTP alone can deplete the catecholamines such as dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine. Now, when dopamine depletion is great enough, 5-HTP will no longer function. And if other centrally acting monoamine related disease processes involving catecholamines are present, administration of 5-HTP alone may deplete dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine thereby exacerbating these conditions. Um, so we can see that there's a very fine balance between the utilization of 5-HTP and tyrosine that they actually share the same pathway and entry into the brain. And so by supplementing with 5-HTP, we're going to see a decline in dopamine levels in the brain. And that can coincide with you know lack of motivation, low confidence, and just generally feeling low energy. Um, so this is something we need to consider for using 5-HTP supplementation. Additionally, there was one interesting paper that I read that looked at how 5-HTP can actually increase cortisol levels. Um, we can see this study here was titled L5-hydroxytryptophan induced increase in salivary cortisol in panic disorder patients and healthy volunteers. Um, and the, the dosage that they used in this particular study was 200 milligrams of 5-HTP. And they noted that um, 5-HTP was able to stimulate cortisol secretion. Um, and this may be due to the serotonin receptor hypersensitivity um, that we see. And we also do know that the there are various serotonin receptors. Um, we know there's 14 different types of serotonin receptors, which I'll cover in another video, but actually agonizing some of these serotonin receptors can actually lead to an increase in cortisol. Um, so this is something that we need to bear in mind when looking at 5-HTP supplementation. So you're probably wondering about alternatives to 5-HTP and if you're potentially using 5-HTP for improving sleep. If you are looking for a sleep stack, I do suggest looking into other ingredients. There are many other compounds that I've mentioned on my channel in greater detail. Be sure to just click on my channel, have a browse around, have a look at some of the other um, sleep videos, sleep related content. There's even a sleep playlist that I've covered. Um, and I'd also like to challenge you whether or not you actually need to increase serotonin. This is something I'd really like to you know, put forward and, and make you question whether or not you should be listening to the mainstream media's advice that we all need to increase serotonin. You may actually have hormonal imbalance, you may have nutrient deficiencies, you may have other neurotransmitter issues or heavy metal toxicities and other factors that are playing a role in your low mood. Um, so hopefully this video will service and save lives. And if you do like this video, please do share the video um, to get this message out there. Otherwise guys, thank you for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.